Art Workshop Day. We're going to tear this thing apart and see what needs to be replaced and what we can salvage, as well as do a little bit of painting today. So I'm going to start with taking all of the plastics off and see what plastics we may need to replace. We're going to be re replacing my tank because I got a nice crack in the plastic here and there's another crack over here. So we're going to go ahead and order another aftermarket black tank and Bobby is going to drain the fuel right now. You need a, a little cup or to keep your screws with each individual piece. I normally keep it with each piece. If you want, what I normally do when I take stuff like this apart is I remove it and I put the screw back into that area. That way whenever yeah. whenever you come back to it, your, your bolt or screw is already waiting yeah. and it's not getting misplaced, mixed up or anything. Take it out, put it in, put the other one back and I'd put those other three in. Okay. The one in the front's different than the two sides. You don't have to put it all the way. That's it. All you want is just to hold it. Let me grab the other one. Yeah. You're all bent over working on a bike. You'll get a lot of views, though. I'd watch it. I'd be like, oh, am I not supposed to say that? My wife might get mad. I'm going to put your plastic piece over here. Get a little collection of this stuff. If you want, you can change your guard like what I did mine too. Yeah. Different color. Hey, be nice to the kitty cat. He's a big old furry guy. What are you doing? You learning to work on motorcycles like mommy? Yeah. See, some of these are missing a washer. Some of them have washer. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they're just put together. Someone pieced it together real quick and flipped it to get some money. slid out right here this should be back to here you can see right here this barely on there this ain't even the right we'll buy you some stainless steel ones and put in there if you want we'll end up taking these off too so yeah, you can get rid of those that's stupid. Yeah. all right okay, I, so how do i undo the the seat should have right here on each side. And those so I need a wrench. Well, you need probably a 12 millimeter. This has got like a washer on the back side. It's hard to get off. Looks like it's already got a K and N in there. It's definitely filthy. That needs changed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they've done a jet kit on it. I'd Do like to get into that carburetor. Can pull the back side of this with because it fucking hurts my hands. You're all cussing me, want me to film? Probably these pliers right here that I got. That's why these are laying here. Vice grips. Oh, hold on. I gotta grip it, baby. I was trying to say, like, I gotta adjust it. And just set it on the ground over there. Destiny, baby girl, what do you think of mommy's bike? Yep, all right.
My baby is now clean. We got the majority of the grease and grime off with some purple power and some Dawn dish Covered soap. the air cleaner with the plastic. Try not to spray water in there. Try to avoid a lot of the electrical. Look at Destiny. Got it cleaned up. There was some oil on there. Look at your daughter, Jay. Curious to see if it's coming from here for the oil line or if it's actually coming out of here where the gasket is for the top of the cylinder. Up here where the valves are, it's all sealed. I'm gonna have to open that up and adjust the valves. I'm sure they're well overdue. Take this carburetor off. They just had cut some lines here. Vacuum line. Looks like it has a jet kit. We're gonna see what jet they're running. Just threw the oil filter cap back on there. Can even took the three seconds right there, but we'll fix all that. Make it look good. Missing the bolt here for the exhaust. And the exhaust is half off. Right here, you can see where it slid back. All right, well, on to the next. Are you helping wash the bike? Are you washing the passenger pegs? Yeah. We're gonna undo these and take this off. Mom doesn't want her passenger rear pegs on here. Got the first coat of primer on some of the plastics, and it's gonna be this fluorescent pink. I'm super excited. Bobby already got the carburetor out. He's gonna take it apart and see if the O-rings are still good on it. Clean some jets. Check the needle inside there and the springs. Throw a rebuild kit in there if needed. I have no idea what this stuff is. It's just like gum. It's not gum, but anyhow, some kind of putty. So those vacuum lines that were not in place. Check all this stuff out. Hopefully we can get it good as new. Look freaking sick. I'm so excited I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. Okay. It's hard when I hate myself. Late nights are the worst for me. I got my hand guards and my side fenders painted. Yay! Waiting for the paint to dry and then I'm gonna go on top with a clear coat. We are doing hydro dipping on my freshly pink painted fenders and plastics. And I love the way it turned out. So we have neon pink paint and we're using black and white to add some design. I'm going to start spraying some of that in there. It almost made it to like an animal print. You do one at a time or both? One at a time. That's good. Add some weight. Do you want me to do the same type of thing? The circles? Yeah, do the circles, a couple circles, and then a little bit of splatter like you did. Okay. Just 
forgot to show what. Pearl white. Like so? Yeah, that's good. That's really good. I wish I had like... Hold up, that white will stick on there. Oh, okay, it's what's going on. Cool. This one's gonna have a lot more white. Do you want some more black? I can spray black on it. All right. You know what it is? The grays, the black and the white together. And then the blacks, obviously, no, with it's look alone. At, look at the, the front headlight piece. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, that looks sick. It's almost like an animal print. Yeah, here's our test Bye. subject, but we are buying a different shroud, headlight, plastic, whatever you want to call it. A little bit more modern. It's going to have like a plastic light and so on. Probably put an LED or something in there. Now you just have this one to do. Yep. You liking the way it's turning out? I love it. It looks freaking amazing. Baby. Destiny. You trying to help? Are you putting on the glove? All right. Roll it. Roll the front. What do you think? I think it looks pretty slow. Wish more of the white showed up because the parts got kind of We can redip the... it and we can add white and redip it a second time. You just have to wait for it to dry now. You don't want to. All right, so it's the next day. I haven't been filming because honestly I've been so busy and I forgot, but I decided to rattle can the entire frame black so the plastic stand out. I have the rotors painted pink and um, one of the skid plates on the bottom painted pink and I ended up re-dipping the plastics and I put four uh, coats of clear coat on it. I think it looks pretty sick. Bobby ended up going to a salvaged motorcycle parts place and picked me up a stock tank for my bike, which is honestly better because it's metal. Um, and he couldn't find the aftermarket part for it, but I'm happy with this because it'll dip very nicely. And he is currently cleaning up my carburetor. It's been sitting for several hours. Getting all nice and clean for when the rebuild kit comes in. Bobby ended up dipping his panels uh, last night. And he clear coated his as well. And they're up there and drying. I think so far so good. I can't wait to get my bike put back together and all fixed up it's gonna look super sick i'm really happy with the way it's turning out there it is that's the place
Try not to paint the bucket. <laughs> and just okay. slow and let it lay, huh? Yep. All the other stuff, well, the stringy stuff, we can just take that off. Yeah. How you gonna hold it? Honestly, You'll smudge it, don't it? You have to dip that last little bit. Get in some paint. Put it over. I dipped mine multiple times last night to get the effect I wanted. Yeah. Wherever you touch the paint, what it's going to leave. So your lip on that left side, about the uh, maybe seven o'clock position. See what I'm talking about? No. Seven o'clock position. Where's your six? No, seven, right there. Yeah, backside. Now it's a little six spot. Yeah, right there. There you go. Is it already? The paint might be dried already, and so it's not a dirt. Just let it be, and then you can always dip it. Are you gonna dip your? No, I'm gonna leave this pink. You having fun, baby? Yeah? We brought daddy his tap set. Okay, actually, it's my extractor set. Yeah, leave those there for me. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. So I finished getting the majority of my plastics on. I ended up doing my tank as well. It's just resting on there for the time being as we have some stuff that we need to take care of on that. But I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Night and day difference um, from when we first brought it home. And I also did the rims. Sorry I did not film that. I did it, ended up doing it last night and early this morning. But I think they came out pretty awesome as well. We're just waiting on some two bliners as well as some new rubber to put inside there. And so far so good. <laughs>